Xenophobia. Xenophobia. The xenophobia. Xenophobia. Xenophobic. Xenophobic sentiment toward Asians. One of them shouted, You ching chong mother You better cover your mouths before you kill all of us. Xenophobia sets in. Xenophobia against the sister republic and the subcontinent, or xenophobia as far as the United States or any other great power in the world uh, are concerned. Xenophobic attacks are not new. It has always been present with diseases outbreak throughout the history. In the 19th century, tuberculosis was called the Jewish disease. Irish immigrants were seen as carriers of cholera virus. In 1900, a Chinese man supposedly died of the plague in San Francisco. The Chinese residents were forcibly quarantined while the white residents were allowed to leave the area. Current issues we are witnessing is that since the outbreak, people of Asian descent or Asian appearing individuals have been a target for de derogatory language and physical abuse. However, government leaders have either directly or indirectly encouraged the discrimination and hate crimes by using anti-Chinese rhetoric. An example of this would be Trump calling COVID-19 the Chinese virus. This man came up to me and he said, Trump says all Asians have coronavirus, you disgusting Since January, Asian identifying individuals have been dealing with verbal attacks and violence. An example of this would be Jonathan Mock, who is a 23-year-old who was walking down the Oxford Street in London. He was accused of having COVID-19 and there was a group of people who shouted derogatory language at him and he was left with very heavy facial bruising. In Minnesota, three teens have been arrested due to a circulating video where, where one of the teens is seen kicking a woman in the face who was waiting for her metro stop. Asian American groups have also put together a report called Stop AAPI Hate. The center said it received almost 1,500 reports of incidents and at, that at least 125 of those incidents were physical. Future solutions to decrease this act revolves around the children today and future children. Educating our future generations is a strategy that can be used now to transform our future people, teaching children kindness and how to talk about differences. The act of being racist are learned behaviors but also can be unlearned. Teaching children to recognize the difference between negative and positive things relating to human beings with different cultures is essential at an early age. Ensuring children understand that we are all human beings and just because we all may have different cultures and ethnicities doesn't mean it's right to discriminate. We all have the right to be treated equally. The coronavirus is a threat to everyone and it's not caused by anybody specifically. Standing up for the culture and diversity in our country is essential because the hatred people are getting from this virus is not acceptable or reasonable. Xenophobic attacks were mainly caused by misinformation communicated among friends and family. Therefore, we know that all of this is preventable. Let us bring awareness to this issue and keep one another informed with correct information. Remember, viruses do not discriminate. People do.